Okay, it's Sunday, November 6, 2011, and we're going to have another RC-related video. I have not had a chance to post all those, uh, those build videos, but uh, I wanted to get this one up as soon as possible because it is uh, a video that can probably help a lot of you out, and I feel it's an important video. So uh, today we're going to be focused on some LiPo packs. These are the Orion 4645C uh, packs, and uh, troubleshooting them, basically. This pack here, both these packs are good right now. But what had happened is this pack here, I uh, had a motor go bad, went through the Speedo, and thought it fried the battery. Um, didn't fry the Speedo, but the battery. The battery just would not work. Uh, it wouldn't take a charge, you know, errors on the uh, charger or whatnot. And a lot of people have had this same problem, not just with the Ryan, but with the Gen Ace. I mean, just any of the packs, basically. Uh, and they're all the same internally. I have some Gen A's that I've since purchased and uh, I love them, and uh, I've seen the inside of those exactly the same as the Orion. So, the first thing you want to do is determine uh, what side of the pack is bad. So, before you try to disassemble anything, go ahead and get your meter out. So, what we're going to do is kind of a two for one video, show you how to test a battery with a meter also. Get focused in on there, put it on 20, uh, direct current there, direct voltage, BDC. And we'll want to test this battery. So what I'm going to do is, doesn't really matter what side, but we'll go ahead and put the negative and the, the sensor pack there, the sensor support, and then put the positive on that side. And hopefully you can see we've got 4.03 volts on that side. Of course this says negative because I've got it backwards, but that doesn't matter. Um, the other side, we'll test the other side. Again, I'm using one of the positive or negative terminals and the sensor wire terminal. Okay, this one, 4.08. You see, so this pack is good. Now this pack didn't start out as being good. It was good and then blew up. So now you've determined what side is bad. So if it were bad, you'd have one side that said 4, whatever, and the other side wouldn't say anything. Um, or you could have both bad sides, and then you wouldn't get a reading on either one. So now that we've determined this pack is actually good, but let's pretend that it wasn't. First thing you want to do is get this pack apart. Now you don't, don't want to take your X-Acto and just start cutting into the thing because you do not want to cut the soft lipo pack in there. These are all soft lipo packs in a hard case basically. So what you want to start doing, we'll take the good pack here, rip off the tape first. There's this, it's just tape. And then you'll, once you rip it off, there'll be a little seam where that tape is covering. Now you want to lightly score, continue lightly scoring the pack, just lightly, lightly and then take a screwdriver and really dig into it. Not real hard, but you know, what have you. And do that all around the pack, lightly score, lightly score, lightly score with the screwdriver, the flathead, and keep on doing that until finally you get a little part that's open and then start cracking it open with the screwdriver. As you can see this case, I mean, it's, it's the sides have seen better days. Of course, I haven't put it all back together yet. Once I put it back together, it'll be fine. But you see where it's been scored. I'll try to get this to zoom in. There, you can see where it's been scored and scored and scored. So once you get that, then it's not over yet because there's double-sided tape in these packs. So it'll be real hard to separate. So you want to first take off probably the top. It's a little easier. Start peeling that back. And this has already been peeled back. And there, you can see where the double-sided tape is, really thin tape. So there's one pack. And then you'll have to do the same thing on the bottom. Now this. This came off easy because it's already been off. See, I've actually taken the tape off, but it's really, really hard to get out, trust me. So, there you are, there's your actual battery. Two batteries, two cell, and again, they're soft. And you don't want to get that exact, or you don't want to cut this pack at all. See, this one's not cut, nice and, nice and uh, intact. So once you've got the battery out of the case, the hard shell case, you want to go ahead, and sometimes you can't even see it. And again, it's usually only this side because this is where the solder is. Hardly, I don't think uh, I've ever heard of it being this side. You see a little bit of solder right there? Well, what it happens is when that battery or that motor goes bad or something happens with the battery, it's really, it's much thinner than this from the factory. What happens is that solder just, you know, melts, that, that joint melts and it loses connection with the rest of the pack. See, it's just a little board there. So what you got to do is get your soldering gun out, a little bit of solder, don't get a huge tip, a little bit of solder, and go ahead and, and fill that in. And that's it. That's all there is. I mean, that's how simple it is. Um, 
Once you do that, before you put it back in the case, go ahead and test the pack. Chances are you'll see that in this case, you know, it's already fixed. It's, you know, it works. And uh, go ahead and throw, you can throw some double-sided tape back on there. All this is pretty thin, um, so I'm not going to, but go ahead and slide it in the case. Get it, make sure everything's lined up. Slide the bottom, put it on. And once you get that put back together, go ahead and you can try to glue the case back together or you can uh, or tape it also. I would do both. Or actually, I would just probably tape it. Now, just tape it along the seam. Black electrical tape, what have you. Do not wrap tape around the pack. Because if you do get a bad pack that decides to balloon up and explode, that could cause even more more problems. So it could force it uh, to, to shoot out the back or it could force it not to explode and then it explodes even more, you know, the pressure from it. So that's all I really wanted to show you. Just a real quick video there on how to replace or how to repair your uh, your LiPo packs. So hopefully uh, this will help a lot of you out and if you have any questions or comments or if you've got a, a similar experience you'd like to share, please feel free to post those. And as always, thanks for watching.